Thank you very much for joining us. With me today, I have Roxanne Colthrust from uh, Destination Trinidad and Tobago, um, who is our guest speaker today. Um, but before I hand over to Roxanne, I'd just like to introduce myself first of all. Um, my name's Simon Hemmings, and I'm the head of team for UK and Ireland at DMC Reps. For those of you who are unfamiliar with DMC Reps, we're a sales and marketing representation company. We specialize in DMCs. We have around 55 DMCs globally, covering over 60 countries. Um, and our aim is to connect you, uh, the tour operator, with our esteemed DMCs. Um, we're very fortunate today to have uh, Destination Trinidad and Tobago with us. Um, and I will now hand over to Roxanne uh, to take you through the Travel in Your Bubble uh, curated experiences that your customers can have in Trinidad and Tobago. So over to you, Roxanne. Hi. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you so much, DMC Reps, for having us. Destination Trinidad and Tobago is a private sector organization, and I'm happy to be the director for tourism. So what I do is create these experiences for our guests. We interact with our, our representatives from abroad to find the best experiences, to cu curate, in fact, to, to just to go in there and work out and negotiate and create the best experiences for our guests. So thank you so much for, for having me today. I would love to share my screen and um, to be able to show you just a few, just a few things, just a few activities that we'd love for you to experience in Trinidad and Tobago. So we, as I mentioned, we are a private sector organization, but our hope is really to create experiences that are about fun, that are about family, that are about adventure, balance, and even energy. You know, one of the key things these days is that you have to find, take a moment and find your, your, your zen, that place in life that allows you to just be easy and cool and to rest a moment. So I'm gonna show you a few things, a few places, a few situations where you can rest for a little bit, that your guests, that your customers can just take a minute and the main thing for us going forward, we're in 2022 now, but going forward, it, we, we're looking at the travel and it means that you may really, it will be best, it will be safest to travel in your bubble. What's your bubble? It's your close grouping of friends and family, people who you know have got, gone through or been tested or have had their vaccines that you can travel with that, you know, so that you can remain safe. That's a key thing for us. And some of the experiences that we wanna to bring to you from Trinidad and Tobago, I'll start with the easy ones, the light things. And we love to build into our, our itineraries for our guests, some down days, some days where you can relax. So we have many a multiple beach experiences that we can offer, places like Englishman's Bay or Salibia Bay, beautiful you know so much so the water's so blue that you might really have to touch it to make sure that it's real this is another famous one for our guests nylon pool in tobago we're talking about crystal clear shallow pool surrounded by miles of sea imagine standing waist deep in waters that are said to have the ability to rejuvenate anyone anyone, anyone who's lucky enough to swim in it. So the pool is only accessible via a glass bottom boat and that glass bottom boat experience in itself is, is phenomenal. In fact, it's called a glass bottom boat be just because of that. The bottom of the boat is glass. So you can actually look through it and see the underwater life that's teeming in these oceans. So at three pools. So our Northern range has endless hiking trails that lead you to epic waterfalls and stunning natural pools. One such trail is called Three Pools and it's in the coastal village of Blanchichez. 
the river collects in three basins, creating a sequence of magical natural pools. I mean, we're talking about, you know, you, you can just, it is such a cool and calming experience to go wading in these waters. So another key experience that has been, uh, you know, very, very interesting for a lot of our guests is our Gaspary Caves tour. This is actually an underground um, grotto that is only accessible through the entrance to the, to, to the caves. It's a cave system and, and sunlight protrudes from the entrance of the Gaspary Cave system and hits this translucent natural pond. The geological limestone treasure challenges the notions of dark and scary caves as it makes you feel like you're in a fairy tale. This is our blue grotto. And it's, it's an area actually that you can actually swim in. We have had couples actually get married in these caves. It's a fairy tale. I mean, this is, this is our couple from the, from the UK walking along the path before getting to the caves. And on the other side, you see them. They may be looking at some bats, yes but it was a magical moment for them. This is one of our other experiences. Wow, this is, this is something out of the world, you know, and it's our mud volcano. And these volcanoes are active year round and they're said to have healing properties. So we journey to Lou Michel mud volcano or even the Devil's Woodyard, which is another one, both in South Trinidad for a day of sun, sand and yes, lots and lots of mud. You can even get wet. I mean, we have some phenomenal falls in Tobago called the Argyle Falls. And the water as it gathers at its base form these cool, refreshing pools. You can easily relax for a few hours at this, this site. In fact, there are you can go climbing. It's, it's, you know, it's all easy to moderate going and you can climb to the three series of cliffs that make the Argyle Falls. This is another critical one. During March to August, we have the turtle nesting season in Trinidad and Tobago. You can make contact with prehistoric creatures. I wonder if you know that the leatherback turtle family has existed since the first sea turtle over 110 million years ago. Wow. And Trinidad and Tobago is home to one of the most important nesting grounds. So from year to year, we have as many as 500 leatherback turtles come ashore um, in places such as Grand River, in places such as Toko, to lay eggs on every, any given night during the nesting season. So we're talking March to August. So we try to structure some of our, the guests, our guests who want to see this majestic leatherback turtle. We tend to structure during that time. So of course, the turtles come up late at night, early morning, and sometimes guests are sleeping. So at a couple of the hotels, we actually have the, the um, staff of the hotel come and call you. You have to see this. So often, you know, clients would come out very sleepy and groggy and everything. But when they see these huge creatures coming, you know, onto the beach to lay their eggs, it all makes sense. The world just makes sense, you know, that this is a phenomenal opportunity to see something that is a prehistoric creature. multiple festivals. Trinidad and Tobago has, is a multicultural nature and we celebrate many, many festivals. Some of them, including the Diwali, which is a Hindu festival. And it celebrates the victory of light over darkness and sim is symbolized by an action. We actually have to go out and light these deers. Some people do it at their homes, but we also have gathering spaces throughout the country where people come together. And it's just a, a, a phenomenal opportunity to 
recognize light over darkness. Just to show you a couple of our temples, and this, this interesting one is actually, was actually built out, built out on the sea. So the Suda Sadhu, he was an indentured laborer from, a day laborer from India, built a temple in the sea. The hard work of one individual added up to a place of worship and renowned beauty. And we've actually had groups who wanted to go there and we would organize things like to have, um, you know, have a, a prayer leader, you know, from the, from the East Indian community, talk with them at the temple. And it's not talking about particularly religious things. It's more about life. It's more about, you know, how we connect with people, how we connect with nature. And it's always just a, you know, a revolutionary opportunity to be in a beautiful space, but to also commune with others. Wow, you have to see this statue in real life. This is an 80, 85 foot statue, our Hanuman Murti. He was one of the best warriors among the Hindu gods. And this Murti is in commemoration of him. It's the tallest in the Western hemisphere and the second tallest in the world. We actually had a father, um, a father who was actually born in India, wanting to bring his daughter and she was, uh, they had migrated to Canada and she was, um, you know, an adult now, but in, from his days in India, this particular murti had affected him. It had, you know, had a special place in his consciousness and he wanted his daughter to see it. But of course they didn't want to travel all the way back to India. So they came to Trinidad and Tobago and were able to experience this 85 foot larger than life Hanuman Murti in real life. Birds galore. Wow. One of the key groups that we actually uh, bring to Trinidad and Tobago have been birders. So they are looking for, you know, to see a large concentration and in Trinidad and Tobago, has one of the highest concentration of birds in such a small area. And this makes it a bird watcher's paradise. Nature centers such as Asa Wright Nature Center is are perched in the mountains of the Northern Range or the Wildfowl Trust, which stretches across hectares of land and land with a, even with a lake. These create this, the perfect settings for picnics, um, right in the company of these birds. And the picture on screen is actually our blue crowned mot mot. A must see, certainly a must see for anyone coming to Trinidad and Tobago. Put that one on your list. This is another critical, you know, element. This is, um, this is a once in a lifetime, you know, at a particular point in um, later on in the year, we have this occurrence happening the bioluminescence. It's the release of a bluish glow from marine plankton when they're agitated. This phenomenon is witnessed in bodies of water where the plankton live, such as the Buko Lagoon in Tobago and the Ottawa River in Mayaro, and it happens only at night. The light is a defense mechanism to keep predators away, but due to its stunning beauty, it has had the opposite effect. And so people want to come and see this bioluminescence. I, you know, we'd love to have you experience our carnival. And, and that's, you know, that is in our out of this world. It's really an experience. It's really something that you can get involved in. Another critical element of our culture is our music. We actually make music from something that is an oil drum. So Trinidad and Tobago has for about 120 years now been a producer of oil and gas. So, and that we export to the rest of the world. The drums that, those, that the oil is saved in, we've been very ingenious with and we've turned them into steel pans. So Trinidad and Tobago is the home of the steel pan. It's actually a musical instrument made out of the oil barrel. 
the melodic notes that ring out from the instruments can take various tones. They can be lively and funky or classical and orchestral. This you have to experience. We even have actually um, on our shopping platform, shopcarib.com, people can actually buy the, a small version, a mini steel pan, but it works. You get to hear the notes. So very, very interesting element. You can also even get married on a beach. This is something that we can facilitate at Destination Trinidad and Tobago. The Mount Irvin and Pigeon Point beaches will have you second guessing your decision to tie the knot in the building with walls. The, the scenic skiscape coupled with a gentle Caribbean breeze and perfect natural setting is that for a breathtaking wedding. And your wedding photos will certainly look fantastic. Well, you'll never want to leave. Coming to Trinidad and Tobago, you'll never want to leave. And I'm just showing you some of our, our guests, our students who were with us. This is a family actually from, um, from Europe who visited, they came on a cruise ship and they stayed with us a little bit at the Gaspar Caves. And then we also have another group of students who went to the Pitch Lake. And here we are, a key thing for us is always to sample some of the culture, some of the food, some of the elements. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We would love to have you join us in Trinidad and Tobago. It is, we are a multicultural society. And when we talk about traveling in your bubble, it's not necessarily um, the tiniest of bubbles. It can be two people. But it can be, but to have it, you know, the most fun, the most op the opportunities for engagement, four people, six, 10, 15, but keep it, we try to keep it manageable so that you're safe, so that you're secure, so that we, we have a controlled environment and that we can offer you and curate for you the best experiences. Thank you so much to DMC for this opportunity to let you see what Trinidad and Tobago looks like. Bye. Thank you very much, Roxanne. That was a, a lovely insight into uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Um, that's it from us for today. Um, and we will say goodbye and until next time. Bye for now. Bye from Trinidad and Tobago. See you soon.